Hello everybody. Um, today in this video I'm going to talk about one um, feature in Excel run function that's really helpful. Um, and I, I just knew about it a couple of days ago. Um, and I thought this is very helpful to me and to many chemical engineers. So I thought it's a good idea to share it with you. Um, so um, for, for us as chemical engineers, it's very important to um, use units. Um, units is one of the things that we use uh, almost in every application um, and we deal with different units and with a very big variety of units. So we, need, we use units of temperature uh, with units of Fahrenheit, Celsius, Kelvin and Rankin. Um, we use the units of time, years, days, hours, minutes uh, of energy, calorie, joule, BDU. Um, for the length we use foot, meters, centimeters, inch, foot, miles. Uh, for pressure, we use atmosphere, millimeter mercury, pascal, psi, um, for pound and, and gram and kilogram for weight. Uh, so, <coughs> I'm sorry, so we, we need these units a lot. And uh, one of the things that we need to know or we, we always know uh, is the conversion between the units. So um, we, we face a lot of situations where we uh, have two units that we need to use uh, simultaneously. So you know, we need to know how to convert from this unit to that unit. Um, and it, it gets uh, worse when you have conversions between SI units and the British units. British units are um, kind of not as straightforward at the SI units. So the SI units, um, you know that one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So the conversion is kind of easy. A centimeter is uh, 100 uh, or it's 10 millimeters. One meter is 100 centimeters. So the conversion between the uh, SI units is kind of easy. But when you go to the British units, it's tough. And <clears throat> and it gets worse when you go from SI to British or from British to SI. So uh, for instance here, you know that the foot is 12 inch. It's not 10, it's not 20, not 100, it's 12. Uh, the conversion from inch to centimeter is 2.54 centimeters. From foot to meter, it's 0.3048 meter. So it's it's kind of um, not very easy to memorize. Um, and for instance here, you know that the atmosphere is 14.7 psi. It's not 15. I don't know why it goes uh, for this, but this is the way the conversion happens. For the weight, you go 453.6 grams equals one pound. <coughs> So I don't know why didn't they use it as 500 grams to make it easy for us to convert, but this is, again, this is the way the conversion goes. So um, it's very important for us to do it, and, and, and uh, I'm pretty sure that almost everyone who's watching this video um, had issues with messing up with the units and the conversions, and sometimes you get confused, do I need to multiply or divide by the conversion factor? And this is one thing that makes life uh, very uh, difficult for many people uh, while working with this. Um, so Excel actually can do that uh, very simply and very quickly and very easily actually. Um, and this is one thing that I was impressed to find that Excel can do and I, I wish I knew about that a long time before. So um, let's see how it works. So let's say I have here um, 50 or 500 grams. Um, Oops, grams. I want to convert it to pounds. So one thing I would do is to go back to the previous page and then check here for the pound and grams. It's 453.6. So I go uh, back to this page and I would say I need to have this and divide it by 453.6. Um, you might get confused and you don't know exactly do I need to divide or multiply and this is one other issue but uh, I found that it's 1.102293 uh, pound so this is the conversion uh, it's kind of easy straightforward very simple um, let's do one other thing and then let's see how Excel can do it by itself let's say I have um, 45 um, centimeters and I want to convert it into uh, inch um, so what I would do uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so what you do is to get this divided by 2.54 and then you would go into inch. So it's, it's yeah, it, it depends mainly on your memorization of the units and the conversions. But let's see if you want to convert um, something from, let's say, Celsius. Um, let's say I have... Um, uh, or in, from Fahrenheit, I have like 200 Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit, and I want to convert this into Kelvin. Um, so if you 
try to do it, you will find it, uh, it's, it cannot be done in one step. You first need to convert this Fahrenheit into Celsius and then from Celsius into Kelvin because there is no single conversion that can convert from Fahrenheit into Celsius. So you have to do the conversion is to get this minus 32 and divide it by 1.8. Uh, so you have it in Celsius and then you would go and add 273 into this to go into Kelvin. So you have to do two steps to go from one unit to another. Uh, it's not as straightforward as it is in the previous two cases. So um, let's see now how Excel can do it. It's a very simple function. It's called, you. it's, it's actually a unit conversion. So um, it's going to be convert function. So you just press equal and then convert. And then you'd see that it's asking for the number. You can type the number or you can refer to one other cell. And then from unit, um, you have a list of many units here. Um, you can either type it or you can choose from the drop down list. I personally prefer to, in the, I mean, especially in the beginning, to go for the drop down list because um, uh, using this drop down list, you're not going to get any issues with the uh, uh, function. So you'll not get any errors because you're typing something wrong. Um, so in our case, well, let's see, let's uh, take a look first at this thing. So you'll find that it's gram. Uh, sludge. I, I, I didn't your slug. I didn't know, uh, knew that there's a unit called slug before. Um, there is atomic mass unit. Then is ounce. Ounce is not an engineering unit. It's just like a, for um, like home stuff. Um, you'll find the grain. I never knew about the the grain unit before. Uh, stone. Um, there are very weird, very very weird units here. Um, so um, it's good to have many things, but it's not uh, something that. Um, you're gonna use uh, for your engineering um, cases. So I would uh, go for gram, and then you choose to unit, and then you will find that the drop down, the drop down list is very short now, um, and actually it's just choosing the uh, mass units because it's converting from gram, so it has to convert into one other mass unit. Um, so you will find here uh, the the mass units. I would go for pound mass, and I close the bracket. And here it goes. It's almost the same value. Um, I think uh, maybe the 453.6 is not the exact value. Um, and one cool thing that you can actually get the conversion factor from here. Um, so for instance, um, if I um, take this function and copy it and paste here, and instead of putting the cell A1, I would just put number 1. And let's flip it from pound mass to gram. Uh, oops, to gram. So it's 453.592. So this is the conversion uh, factor, the exact conversion factor. I used 453.6, which I learned in my undergrad um, classes, but it seems to be not a perfect number it's 592 not 0.6 so that's why there is a little bit of difference between here and there um, the same thing here if I press or type convert from um, centimeter oh I uh, I need to first choose the cell and then from um, centimeter and then to inch um, yeah I, I need to and the same thing here you just have the units of um, of length and then I would press here it's 17.7165 okay now it's getting the same thing um, and I can do the same thing that I did here um, again here and convert from inch to centimeters and put number one to know the exact con oh okay so I'm using the exact conversion factor <clears throat> and let's see here this is the third one let's see if I can do this conversion for the temperature directly from Fahrenheit to Kelvin so I would press convert um, uh, oops um, and then I need to convert this 200 from Celsius I think there is this is C uh, I'm not sure if it's uppercase C or lowercase C, but let's see if we have it here. Um, yeah, it's no, this is calorie. Yeah, this is the degree Celsius. It's uppercase key. The say the lowercase C is thermodynamic calorie. So we are um, choosing the temperature actually, and then you'll have the Fahrenheit Kelvin, and this is the unit that we are looking for now. And you close the bracket, and it is. Oops, I did something wrong here. Um, 
I don't know what I did wrong. I'm sure that Excel is doing it right. <laughs> this is the the uh, the cool thing. But I'm converting the 200 from Celsius. Oh, from Celsius. I have to convert it from Fahrenheit. Yeah. Um, so it's 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 my fault. It's not the fault of Excel. Um, it's better to see how it writes the Fahrenheit. Is it uppercase? I think it would be an uppercase F. But let's. Yeah, it's uppercase F. Um, yeah. I'm doing great. Um, and it seems there is kind of difference in the conversion for some reason, but it's not like that much uh, big difference. Um, so um, from what you see here, you'd see that it's getting easier and way easier than what we uh, used to do manually by doing the calculations uh, manually. But let's see um, two things. Uh, first, we need to take a look at the list of the units that we commonly use. And the second thing is that we have some missing things here. For instance, if I want to convert um, let's say I want to convert uh, 500 kilograms into tons, for instance. Um, if you take a look here and you try to search for kilogram, you'll not find kilogram at all. Uh, no kilograms, nothing. Um, um, if you take a look, you'll never find it. So um, this is something that's missing. And actually, they knew that there are some units that would be missing. So to make it kind of global or easier, um, they made a list of um, prefix that you can use uh, to do the multiplication. So um, there is some weird um, multipliers like Yoda. I didn't know what it's Yoda. I never hear about that. Zeta, Exa, Beta, Tera. Tera, Tera is kind of common. You know, the terabytes, uh, it's kind of a common thing. You know, gigabytes, megabytes, kilobytes. So um, the kilo and mega are kind of very famous so if you want to add kilo to the gram for instance you just add the lowercase k to the g so it'll be a kilogram and then you have the m for mega g for uh, giga um, you have to make sure that you put it as lowercase k if it's uppercase k it's give you, gonna give you an error and you have also i didn't know that there is kind of the cow the cow is multiplying by one i don't know who would or by 10, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know who uh, who used it before. I never used it before. The hecto, the same thing. We know that there is something called decimeters, centimeters, millimeters, micrometers, nanometers, picometers, femtometers. It's, it's kind of common thing. You know that this is D, C, and that's why you have to um, uh, also make sure that they are lowercase D, C, M, and U, and the N is the same thing. Um, again, you have Yoda here, you have Yocto, uh, Zeta, Zepto, uh, Exa, Atto. Um, I don't know what this stuff, but I, I, I never think that anybody was going to use them, um, at least in the meantime. Um, so this is the stuff that we can use to do the uh, multipliers, um, either greater or lower than one. Um, and then uh, you have here the list of the abbreviations. So you have the time, years, day, hour, minute, second. Um, these are the uh, temperatures. We just uh, took a look at them. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep the file uh, or uh, link to this file in the uh, um, description of the video so that you can uh, download it and take a look at these uh, things. Uh, if you're looking for something, you can find it. Um, the only thing that I I couldn't find and I think it's missing uh, from the units is the volumes. Uh, you'd find few volumes that you cannot find meter cubed, you cannot find centimeter cubed, you cannot find um, some other cubes or, or I mean the areas, I'm sorry, um, the areas. You cannot find meter square, uh, centimeter square. Um, these units are missing and I don't think it can do that. Uh, to them. So uh, I think this is the only issue that you can find. So for back to the um, kilograms, if I want to convert, um, let's say 500 uh, kilograms, so I would do the uh, prefix of K, lowercase, and then kilogram and the conversion. You know now, it, it now knows that it's, it's a weight. And then you can put on and now it did it. So, and by the way, there are two types of tons here, uh, which is something that was kind of confusing as well. Uh, there is the um, UK ton. I think this is the 500 uh, kilograms. I don't know which is which. Um, what I know that it's uh, the ton is 1,000 kilograms, so it should be 0.5. Um, anyways, uh, maybe something got changed or. The units are not the ones that we used to know before, but um, 
Anyways, so there are two types of tunnels, and this is one new information that I, I just knew about. So, anyways, I, I, I uh, hope this uh, video is helpful to everybody, and um, I hope you use it uh, as I am going to do. Goodbye.